Okay, so we've currently got a calibration function running, which basically is just asking the machine to find the time it takes to fully open the valve from fully closed, and also then do the same in the reverse, and uh, see if there's any adjustments for different direction. Um, and basically it uses a binary search function, which um, has been written here, and basically just goes through halves the distance between um, the um, short time and long time, um, test for whether it, um, the valve is actually fully closed or not, and then um, narrows the gap by half again until the point where the long time minus the short time is less than or equal to one millisecond. Um, and then it basically returns the uh, long time. So uh, the machine's going through that process at the moment and has found the open cycle time to be 4168 milliseconds. Um, and it's now performing the the uh, search for the closing time. See now it's returning to the fully open position and now closing for the um, set time, checking to see whether it's fully closed or not and then returning to the fully open position to do the cycle again. Uh, basically what I found is that the limit switch uh, signals are pretty noisy if you use them as an interrupt. So, but if you delay for 20 milliseconds in the stopped position, then the uh, the output is correct when you use the um, in the uh, digital pins of the Arduino as with an input pull up and then the um, other end to uh, ground. So you can see that the uh, close cycle time is also 4168, so no uh, adjustment required. Now I'm running onto basically a random number generator and then getting the uh, machine to move to the next position. So I'll just turn the auto scroll off. So you can see that it's uh, um, generated a number of 666 and then move to that um, position and then close fully again, then move to position 189. So basically what this means is um, it keeps track of the total time that it's been opening and the total time that it's been closing and then the difference between those times in milliseconds should give the current position and that's what I'm using to track the location of the valve. So at the moment I've got it going pretty slowly. You can see it's open slightly there and closing slightly. Um, this is running uh, basically, uh, where are we? Code. We're generating um, changes between a th minus a thousand and one thousand milliseconds um, of movement, and then we're um, creating, generating that random output every one thousand milliseconds. But uh, what we can do is change it to say every hundred milliseconds, and change the uh, output to say minus 200 and the output to plus 201 and um, I'll stop the video, get, let it go through the calibration function and then show you how it can move quickly. Okay so I've just changed some speeds a bit faster um, and you can see that it really does uh, rip along. This is every 100 milliseconds and then this is the valve moving around. So that's 10 adjustments per second. Um, if the movement required is greater than what the valve can move in that uh, 100 milliseconds, then basically what it does is says, I'm still in motion, um, and then wait until I've reached the target before it'll take the next uh, number generated by the random number generator.